the first game is Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As you can see on the screen, we are testing these all games on 1440p ultra settings. So on our X6800 XT, we are averaging about uh, average FPS, which is 90, which is quite good, amazing. On RTX 3080, we are averaging about 74 FPS, which is 16 FPS less than the 6800 XT that is a very big difference even though that card is cheaper than Nvidia's one okay on 6900 XT we are averaging about 100 FPS and on 3090 it's 82 almost like 18 FPS that is hell of a difference between these graphic cards because even though it is cheaper but it is giving you a lot of good performance in this game and it is well optimized for this game as well so yeah you can say that our in nvidia has done a very 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 brilliant job in making these graphic cards so this was the first game now 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 let's move towards the second one which is the game that was released this year like one month ago maybe yeah and that is cyberpunk 2077 yeah as you can see on the screen so now let's test it out as now you can see on the screen we are averaging about 69 fps in 6800 xt 50 uh, sorry 68 69 and on 3080 74 73 only 5 to 4 fps difference will doesn't uh Acknowledge this price, okay, on 6900C we have like 74 FPS and on 3090 we have 80 FPS. So just 6 FPS difference uh, doesn't make sense because it is $500 more cheaper. Nvidia's graphic cards are not cheaper, AMD's cards are cheaper, like it's $1000 and that is $15,000. Uh, sorry, fifteen hundred dollars. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, my tongue just slipped. Okay, so these were the bunch box of Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven, which you have seen on your screen, and you can check out the one person lows, uh, which are not that much as well because this game has a lot of bugs, but this game is a very big open world game, and it demands very high graphic cards. So the next game is which you are seeing on your screen is. Horizon Zero Dawn. So you can see on the screen this is Horizon Zero Dawn. So yeah, the RX 6800 XT gives us like average FPS 110 FPS. Okay, it's same on 3080 as well. One, uh, 110, 112, 113. Okay, these are just same same FPS on 6900 XT. Okay, huge difference. Uh, 129 FPS and same 3090, 129. Okay, in this uh, game like uh, the Horizon zero dawn we are getting the same fps in both of the graphic card but we if we compare from like 6800 x to 69 xt then we have seen a lot of big difference and if we see from rtx 3890 obviously 3090 is better and it is giving us, us a very great performance as well so if we see about one percent low so here we see 78 and here we see little bit fluctuations on 3080 like 76 77 okay on 69 you have seen that as well so the next game which we are testing is uh, Watch Dogs Legion which was released this year as well so this game is war is also very high graphics demanding so here we go the benchmarks so average fps which we are getting on the rx 6800 xt is 90 to 91 and here we go on 3080 we are 87 on 6900 xt 101 okay on like 3090 still 6 fps less because it's 94 so yeah amd has won this battle in this game as well so on Watch Dogs Legion uh AMD is better. Definitely AMD is better. So yeah, uh, this was the Watch Dogs Legend. You can check out the 1% lows as well and the RAM you can see uh, uh, which is occupying is almost almost same same. So yeah, this was Watch Dogs Legend. So the next game is, is you have guessed this right, Resident Evil 3. Yes guys, so as you can see we are testing it on 1440p ultra settings. So here we go, as you can see on the screen, 201 FPS, oh my god, I think so we can play this game in 4K in these cards as well. So 200 FPS on RX 6800 XT, 3080 has just 205, okay, 5 more FPS. 
on 69 index t 207208 on 3092 221 if we see these uh, nvidia has won the battle but as i always say nvidia is expensive right now it's very expensive as well but the original price is also very expensive i hope so you got my point as well so if you find this video helpful then hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as well keep supporting me guys i need your support so let's move towards the next game but before that you can see the one percent lows as well of these four graphic cards and i have also made a playlist of all the games uh, of all the benchmarks available on the channel you, you can see on the end screen as well so let's go towards the next game so the next game is shadow of the tomb raider as you can see here we go come on guys hit that like button okay here we go here we go you can see on the screen uh, we are having about 139 FPS, 140 FPS in 6800 XT, on 3080, 145, like 5 more FPS, 6 more FPS, on 6900 XT, 150 FPS, on like 3090, 158, so on 6900 XT and 3090, it's a difference between 8 to 9 FPS, uh, which I will say that doesn't matter a lot because if we compare to five hundred dollars that is a whole 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 uh not good thing to buy it's not recommended by myself but if you want to get like 500 if you want to spend 500 dollars for just 7 to 8 even 10 fps you can go ahead and purchase that one as well i will not uh, ask you to stop here so yeah you can see one percent lows here are not much one percent lows as well so this was the shadow of the tomb rider so yeah i was talking about the playlist which i had created so you can check that out okay so the next game is your favorite my favorite rockstars rdr2 okay here we go fvc 6800 xt it has like uh, average fps of 103 104 okay that is good it means we can play this game on like uh 1440p settings on 6800 XT on 60 uh, or on 3080 we have 112 FPS and 6900 XT 118 okay just six more FPS on 3090 we have 126 okay here we go now again 10 to 11 FPS more than uh, 6900 XT in 3090 so yeah nvidia has done a very brilliant job in this game because this game is very very graphics demanding and it has a lot of stuff uh yeah it's also open world game i hope so you have played it because yeah i have played this game and i love this yet i love that game as well so let's move towards the last game of this video yeah you have guessed maybe right maybe wrong yeah it's metro exodus so yeah let's test that out game as well as you can see on the screen 1440p settings and now you are seeing that game on your screen average fps are 158 157 okay it fluctuates as well because as you know um okay on 3080 we have like 163 like 7 8 fps more 69 and xt has 167 and 172 3090 have 172 173 so if we compare like going from 3080 to 3090 or 6800 to 6900 XT for playing Metro Exodus, it's not worth it. Uh, yeah. So these were the all FPS which I have showed you in this video. And I am very hopeful that you have enjoyed this video. If you find this video helpful and enjoyable and if you want to see more benchmarks, I have created a playlist which you can see on the end screen and in description as well. So see you next time. Bye guys. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel as well. Peace.